Let's delete all documents and data on your iPhone. Now, there are a couple different places where that documents and data may be. I'm gonna walk you through steps to get rid of those, delete it from your phone. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll head into your settings and we'll tap on your name at the very top. Now, let's tap on iCloud here and you can see under photos is iCloud Drive. Let's tap on that. Now you can see this is turned on, but if I tap on the manage storage, you can see 205 gigabytes of information. And you can see under documents and data here, it's using up 205 gigabytes of my iCloud. If you wanted to delete those documents and data, you just hit that delete documents and data. It says it will delete all information and data from your iCloud, including from all different devices. So basically remove that. It will re remove anything from your downloads folder, anything that's synced up on your iCloud drive. Now, this is one of the documents and data that is on your iPhone. Another one is associated with any app that you install on your iPhone. So let's go back back, 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 and tap on general, and then iPhone storage. Now this shows all of the apps on your iPhone. For example, let's go into TikTok here, and you can see it has the app size, and under that is documented data again, 583 megabytes that TikTok is using. Now there's no way to just remove that documents and data information. Basically all you have to do is at the very bottom hit that delete app, delete the app and then reinstall that app, it will remove all of your personal information associated with that app. And then it will only download and install just the app files. As long as you don't basically log in and start creating new drafts and all that stuff, it will start to build up that documents and data information again. Now going through all of these stuff, this is a way that you can remove different information. If we go back here, you might see at the very bottom, some of the space on your iPhone is taken up either by iOS or system data. And if you go into system data, for example, it says system data includes caches, logs, and other resources currently in use, and it will fluctuate. Unfortunately, there's no way to remove this or to delete this. This is basically just information that your iPhone uses to function and operate properly. A good way to reduce this, and it won't go down to zero, but you could reduce it just by turning off your iPhone and then restarting it. That should help get everything to reduce the log number of logs, caches, and all of that stuff. But keep in mind, again, this won't go down to zero. And then iOS here, of course, is just the system files associated with whatever iOS operating system that you have. Currently, it's on 16.5. So these are the files associated with running your current iOS. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.